The Uru UM925 is a professional USB microphone kit. Hold on, Zach, didn't you already review this mic? Well, actually, it was its younger brother, the UM900. So, what's different about it? Well, I'm glad you asked. To be honest, there isn't much that's different. It's got the 192kHz sample rate at 24-bit recording with a large 25mm diaphragm, which from another mic I reviewed caused the audio to be very quiet. It'll be interesting to hear what it sounds like in the testing. Anyway, it's got the cardioid puller pattern, the easy plug and play, and it comes with a complete mic kit with a small tripod for sitting on top of your desk. Also, for you more audio nerds out there, here is a detailed spec list as well. Now, the price of the microphone is $70, putting it up there with the more expensive budget microphones. The quality of the kit itself is okay, the boom arm feels sturdy enough, but nothing compared to the T20 boom arm from Toner. Speaking of different sellers, if you're wondering why so many mics look similar, it's because they are. Actually, if we unscrew the body here, you can actually see that the PCB is made by Maono, a manufacturer that I reviewed several of their mics before. And I bet it is the same mic, just a little different. And if we take a look at this text right here, it says the AUA04, which is a mic sold by Maono on Amazon. But just because these two sellers are using the same mic doesn't mean that it's bad. It's still a good mic, and let's test that right now. On to the testing. Welcome to the audio testing portion of this video. Over here we have my favorite budget mic, the FiFi T669. If you've seen any of my microphone reviews, you will know that the FiFi T669 is the mic I always go against because it is the mic I always use for everything. Gaming, recording, and voiceovers, which I guess is the same as recording. And then over here we have the Uru UM925. And just for your information, both of these mics are kit mics, costing actually around the exact same price of $70. Now if we're going by kits, this Uru also comes with like the small tripod, which in my opinion is kind of pointless because I never use it anyway. For the reason being that when you bump the desk, it sounds really obnoxious to the other person listening or if you're recording or something like that. And also your keyboard clicks with a boom arm and a certain type of mic holder, uh, you won't notice it as much. Now getting on to something that I'm really interested in hearing if the Uru, because it's a 25 millimeter diaphragm the last one that I reviewed and also the last Uru mic was extremely quiet I believe that was a 16 millimeter diaphragm but as for this one it's a 25 millimeter which may lead to the recordings being more quieter and like I said before, the PCB is by Maono, and I have already reviewed a 25mm diaphragm from Maono, so I guarantee they're probably going to sound exactly the same. But anyway, I will hear the difference when I am editing, as you are hearing it right now. Now, if you've been following my channel for a little while, this is the second to last microphone of this year. For a while, I've been doing so many microphone reviews, it's because they all come out like a certain time, and each company has like multiple versions of each, so they like to give them to me to review. But it's still interesting for me to review them and see which one's better with the five I find being perfect and well not perfect but it's definitely the best one that I've reviewed out of all the budget mics that I have reviewed so far that's a lot of reviews anyway let's get on to the conclusion all right, so I was right on how quiet the Uru mic was. In Premiere Pro, I increased the volume by 10 decibels to match the FiFine mic. But I must say, listening to the edited audio, I do prefer the Uru. It sounds less tinny and is just richer in sound quality overall, which comes from the 25mm diaphragm. It's just a shame that it is so quiet. So there you go. It's better than the UM900, but still is in need of a built-in amp, like the FiFine or this desktop Maono mic. Anyway, if you want to pick up one for yourself, there will be a link in the description. Also down there, there are links to support me if you're interested. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.